Hey, my friend, it's Don, and today I want to share with you 10 steps that are guaranteed to help you ace your next job interview. I mean, interviews are tough enough, aren't they? Even on a good day, but they're required if you want to secure most jobs that are part of a company with more than one employee. So how can you put your best foot forward to communicate your skills, your goals, and your passion? Well, I have 10 tips that I think are going to get you super prepared for any job interview. And feeling confident is going to calm all those pre-interview jitters that you have, and you are going to be ready to impress them by the end of this video. Are you ready? Okay, let's move on. Number one, reread the job description over and over and over. This is the best insight into what your manager or the company that you're interviewing with is looking for. The job description is crafted to communicate a set of needs. So you want to make sure that you understand it. I mean, suppose that you're applying for an HR position, for example. In that case, you already know that the company values someone who can navigate delicate situations, distill information into manageable chunks for employees, and follow established policies and procedures. So you can highlight these skills during your interview, or perhaps you're applying for an entry level position and you're just starting out. Now, these positions might be more about, you know, the overall approach and attitude and showing a willingness to learn and, and just being adaptable to new situations. So those are the kinds of things that you are going to want your interviewer to hear from you. So let's move on here to number two, know why you want the job. And most people don't know this. I mean, of course you wanna have a job for income and to make ends meet, but why else do you want the job? I mean, are you passionate about the industry or a specific field? Are you a people person? who would love to deliver outstanding customer service to their clients? Do you bring a particular skill or an outlook that would be valuable to their operation that you'd like to join? When you think through these things ahead of time, this is absolutely essential to preparing yourself for the interview. And it's likely that the hiring manager is going to ask you, you know, what attracted you to this job in the first place? And you don't want to just say, well, I don't know, you know, I, I like this or I like that. You want to have a real solid reason that shows them. Okay, let's move on here to number three, review common interview questions. Now, you won't be able to predict the exact course that your interviewer is going to take, but you can still prepare. And a quick Google search reveals some of the most common interview questions. I also have 10 of them right here in this book that you can get for free from jobinterviewtools.com slash top 10. And just put in your name, email address, tell me where to send it. I'll get this right out to you. This will get you ready for some of those more common questions. Um, but some of them are like, you know, why did you leave your last job? You know, why do you want to work for our company? What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? You know, where do you see yourself in five years? You want to be ready for questions like that. I mean, there's plenty more that they're going to ask you, you know, do some research, but, you know, select the ones that you feel are relevant to your interview and then prepare some good answers for those. Not only is this going to help you feel more prepared, but the interviewer is going to be impressed by your conviction and your confidence when you're answering those questions. Okay, let's move on here to number four. Do your research. It's absolutely critical that you research the company that you're applying to. Not only does it prove your interest in the position, but you can glean so much information about the company. You know, like what are their perks, their benefits, their culture. Uh, and many companies have pages or articles that talk about what it's like to work for them. And if you can't find it on their own website, you can also go to a company called Glassdoor or a website called Glassdoor where they have employee, uh, actually independent people leave comments there about what it's like to work um, at such and such company. And you might find out that you really wanna work there or you might find out that you really don't. Um, other things that are really important are like company mission, and it's really, it's easy to get that. You can just Google company mission space, the name of the company, and it'll usually take you to that mission page that they have on their website. And when you know what's important to the company and you know why you want to work there, this is going to help you uh, show that you're a good fit and that, that you're an uh, ideal candidate for them, okay? All right, let's move on here to number five, practice 
talking out loud. All right, it's one thing to go through a list of questions and answers in your head. It's an entirely different thing to experience it out loud. And only then are you going to be more aware of your mannerism, speed, and your tone of voice. And one of the things that I like to do is just get a video camera and I just start talking to it. I might even put a picture of somebody up there. So it looks, you know, my eye has something to focus on and then I'll start talking and, you know, answering questions or saying whatever it is that I want to say and then I'll go back and I'll watch that video and that will give me a lot more feedback that I can work with and that will help me, you know, get my act together so that I can go in there and make that presentation or that interview or, or whatever it is. Okay, let's move on here to number six. Come up with good questions to ask your interviewer. I mean, inevitably, your interviewer is going to ask if you have any questions for them. And it's never a good idea to say, well, uh, no, I don't, not at this time. So when you're researching the company, prepare some questions that you can ask. It might be, you know, like clarifying responsibilities, understanding, you know, the feedback and the review structure, you know, whatever it is, you might ask probing questions. Like, you know, what's the most important thing that I would need to accomplish, you know, in my first 90 days here? Or, you know, what does the career path or the opportunities for advancement look like, you know, down the road? Or can you tell me more about your role and how you would interact with and oversee this position? Not only will it make you look polished and professional and prepared, but you can get a better idea of, you know, what your work days would look like. And this will help you decide if this is a place that you wanna be. And I always like to tell people, those are the best questions to ask, are the ones that help you decide if this is the place that you wanna work at. And also, inside this book here, I have about 13 questions that you might wanna ask your interviewer. And I already told you where to get this, jobadvtools.com slash top 10, but that has questions to ask and questions that you will be asked. Okay, let's move on here to number seven. Set up a mock interview. It's so good to practice with somebody, you know, get a friend or family member and then just use some common interview questions that you already have and then, you know, have your, your friend um, play the role of the interviewer and then just practice. And the more you practice with a friend or out loud, the better you are going to be prepared, you know, when you're sitting across the desk from the hiring manager. Now, nothing is going to prepare you entirely because it's a whole different kind of setting. But I also like to tell people, if you have a big interview coming up or if you or if you just need practice just go on any job interview that you can don't even care that you get the job but just get comfortable sitting in front of people and you know whether they're virtual interviews phone interviews just get comfortable in front of a hiring manager and that's going to calm your nerves so that the next time you have a, an interview that really matters you won't be so nervous okay let's move on here to number eight print a few copies of your resume so if you are going to be interviewing in person and you go to sit down with uh, the, the table let's say you go into an office and they have like you know 10 other people in there and they're like well don did you did you, do you have any extra copies of your resumes you can pass out and you don't want to say um no uh, just the one and that's just going to make you look unprofessional because then they're going to have to go print off some copies and stuff like that so always have lots of extra copies. Now, if you're on a virtual interview, hey, that doesn't matter. Um, they can look at your, your resume um, online or they can go print their own copies. Okay, let's move on here to number nine, plan your commute. Plan to arrive early and plan to be delayed on your way to the interview. I mean, if you're driving, you know, check the standard uh, uh, traffic patterns, Google Maps will help you out with that and do an extra run. I did this all the time. Anytime I ever had a job interview, I always drove the route. If I didn't know where it was at, like sometimes, because I live in Ohio, so some of my interviews were in Cleveland, some of them were in Akron, and those were both bigger cities that I really wasn't comfortable with. So the day before, I would drive down there and I would find out exactly where I'm going. And I'm glad I did that because sometimes roads were closed or it was just more complicated to get to than I thought. Um, I also didn't have Google Maps to help me get there but that doesn't matter. Um, just plan your route, do the drive ahead of time. And that way it'll just be so much less stressful when you're driving that, uh, that route to your job interview the next day. Okay. Number 10 here, plan your look. 
And what I mean by that is any decision making that you can eliminate ahead of your interview is a plus. So setting aside, you know, your suit, your outfit, whatever it is that you're going to wear is going to reduce the stress on the day of the interview. And consider your outfit carefully. I mean, if you're applying for an entry level position as an associate, you know, a store or whatever, you might not need to wear a suit, but slacks and a button down shirt or a polo shirt might be, you know, much better, you know, than jeans or a t-shirt. And similarly, if you're interviewing at an office job or upper management, dress for the part. And you can usually find out, you know, what people are wearing there, you know, maybe just by, you know, Googling them or whatever to find out what the culture, but you probably already have some idea. But take a cue from the company's dress code and go from there. Even if, you know, they operate on business casual, you know, business casual is probably the most laid back that you want to be with your, with your interview attire. I mean, a lot of the places that I interviewed at, they were business casual. Um, nobody was wearing suits, but as a candidate, I always showed up in a suit. Always. Um, sometimes I might go in, you know, without the jacket or I might be carrying the jacket. Um, there've been times where very few times where I was overdressed and I actually made um, the other people uh, feel uncomfortable and they told me so. Um, they told, they, they actually said, oh, we told you, you didn't need to wear a suit. And I'm like, oh, I missed that part. <laughs> um, but anyways, you know, mistakes happen. And that's what happens, you know, when you go on lots of interviews, you know, you learn lots of little tricks and stuff like that. So there you have it, my friend. That is all I have for you in this video. I, I hope you found this helpful. I hope this helps take off some of the edge that you might be feeling about an upcoming interview that you have. So um, one more thing to help you out. You already have the book. I showed you where to get that. Um, this checklist here, this is gonna be really helpful to you. You can get this from japaneviewtools.com slash checklist. And this has a list of everything that you need to do and everything that you can expect all throughout the interview process. And it's got a sidebar here of a whole bunch of little notes and tips and strategies. And then on the back, it has more tactics and strategies it talks about uh, interview fundamentals, avoiding interview anxiety, um, things employers want to hear you say, very valuable stuff. And then, you know, things to never do. It also will reference you to some other important videos that I have on my YouTube channel and some other programs that I sell that will help you, you know, get completely prepared for your next job interview. All right, my friend, that's all I have for you. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.